Hello everybody, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal from EdTech.tv. Recently I was thinking about how students seem to be wanting more and more stimulation and uh, the things that we grew up with are not quite enough for everybody these days. And so today's question came from that thought, which is, how do I add engagement to students seeking ever more stimulation? Now, I don't necessarily think it's a great idea to be you know, flashing lights in students' faces all the time or anything like that. But at the same time, I think there are ways that we can uh, get them a little bit more engaged and, uh, you know, keep things moving forward for the students. And so today I want to introduce ThingLink. ThingLink was actually originally developed for advertisers, really. But uh, you may have heard of it and educators have really taken a liking to it. Because what it does is it lets you pin information, um, photographs, YouTube videos, links, uh, comments to any picture that you upload. And so when you have a little bit more interaction that way, the students can click around on the pictures and they can find more information, um, you know, relevant content that connects to what you're trying to share with them. So today I'm going to take a quick look at how ThingLink works and uh, how you might incorporate it into your class. When you go to thinglink.com, right away you're going to notice some examples of how it works. And so you can kind of see these pictures on the screen, and as you roll over, it gives you some different things that you can uh, click on and take a look at. Uh, my first piece of advice is do not start now. Don't click right away, because ThingLink is actually... Uh, it costs for businesses, but for education, it's totally free. So go ahead and scroll down um, to this part where it says uh, education loves ThingLink and really this is where it's it's ThingLink has paid a lot of attention to what teachers and what other people are doing with their service and so you can click here for um, thinglink.com slash edu now this is where you can sign up because it's going to be free for you as a teacher or for your students to create uh, their own images through ThingLink. So here I'm going to have you sign in and I'm going to sign in myself and then we'll take a look at the inside. Once you've logged into ThingLink.com it'll give you some suggestions for people to follow and all that type of stuff which is great and you should definitely play around with it. Uh, for now we're going to get started right into creating our own ThingLink. So couldn't be more obvious just click on the red button that says create and it's going to ask you to upload a photo. You can also import from Facebook, from Flickr, or use an address on the web. Um, I've prepared a photo that I want to upload, so it says choose your images or drag and drop here. I'm going to take this infographic because I want to play around with an infographic a little bit. As you can see, it loads it up and it says it's my interactive image. Um, I took this infographic from OnlineSchools.com. They uh, created this a couple of years ago, and I think it's a pretty good way that we can uh, take a look at the history of EdTech and uh, play a little bit around with this. So what it says is it loads it up right here into an editor, and you can call it My Interactive Image. I'm going to change that. And now I'm going to click to tag. This is really what it wants you to do. So when you click on here, it's going to give you options for creating tags and editing them. Now I want to make sure that I see what I'm doing. I actually don't want it right there. So let's go zoom in. Oops, I want to zoom in kind of towards the top. And here you can see that it talks about uh, the old history and um, teachers using chalkboards and students using slate boards. So I want to connect to that because students might see this picture and not really get what it means. So if I click here, I can actually link directly to an image that will show what this means. And so in this case, we're talking about the slate board. I've got a little image prepared here uh, from Getty Images. And I'm going to link to that here. I'm going to put that link in. And if I wanted to add a little bit of information, I could. Children using uh, slates. 
look familiar. And I can also change the icon. So maybe I don't want it to be this little dot. I want to change it to show that I'm showing a picture here. So I can click on this picture image and then I'll save the tag. And now you can see in the image, I've got the tag there and anyone can click on it and they can see what's going to be there. So let's continue to add a couple more. Um, I want to go down to this one that talks about this, how to be well-groomed. Well, I actually found this video on YouTube and uh, recommend you watch it if you have a chance. It's kind of fun. Um, so I take the link from YouTube from how to be well-groomed. And again, I'm going to click right into it. I'm going to link the YouTube video. It's going to recognize that it's YouTube and I'm going to change the icon because I want them to know that it's a video. So I'm going to change it to a red play button and then you can see the actual video inside of there. So that's an example of linking a video right into your, uh, your graphic there as well. Um, let's say you wanted to move forward a little bit more and you wanted to do this section on, um, you know, it talks about the CD-ROM. So maybe I'm gonna link to the CD. Click. Again, I'm gonna change the icon because I don't wanna mistake it for a video. Um, so maybe I'll switch it to a, um, maybe I'll just switch it to a green play button instead of a, a red one for this one. Um, and I'm going to go this time into SoundCloud and I've got this link here for, um, for this 80s and 90s mixtape. So I want to make sure I can share it out. I'm going to take the embed code from here at the bottom and I'm going to hit command C. I can also choose to start it at any starting point if I want to. If I were to click on this, I'm going to choose not to. Then I'm going to put that right into the tag. Save the tag. And then when people click here, then it goes a little something like this. And they can hear a little bit of what was going on with that 80s music sound is. So you're starting to get the idea of what you can do here. Um, finally, I just want to play around with one last idea. Um, if we look here at the bottom, it's going to say, you know, how students are using it with digital devices and e-readers. Maybe I wanted to connect to my uh, social media account, maybe my Twitter account. I'll click right here again. I'm going to change the icon to a Twitter icon. And I'm going to put in my... Twitter feed, save the tag, and now when people click on that, they can have the option to follow me directly through the uh, image right here. Then I'm going to click on save. And it's ready to go. So. Now we've set it all up. Now the next part is how do we show it to people? And that part's actually pretty cool too. So let's take a look. So the last thing you're gonna do is just share it out. And all you have to do is obviously click on the share button. And it's pretty cool because it gives you all these choices. So you can share right out to Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, Tumblr. Um, you can also share out to Edmodo, which is pretty cool. Um, if you want to email it, and the last one here is um, creating a Facebook app, which is going to go a little beyond what we're talking about. Um, but the other cool thing is that you can just get the link or you can embed it. And if you want to embed it right into your website, let's say you have a blog, you can put it right in there, which is a really, really cool function. Uh, because that way you can get people working on your site and taking a look at everything without having to jump out to view, you know, the videos or the related pictures and they can, everything can be really contained in one spot. Um, so that's it for ThingLink. Um, I hope you can get a little sense of it and I'd definitely take a look around and see what other people are doing for education. Some really cool ideas like connecting it to maps, to timelines, um, maybe even to a certain picture that would relate to, you know, an era, I don't know, um, 
you would have some really good ideas in your area. And so check it out, see what you think, play around with it, and um, shoot me a link. I'd like to see what you come up with. All right, you guys, we're going to wrap it up. And so as always, I'm going to give you your homework. Uh, the first one is to sign up for ThingLink at the educators section. That's thinglink.com slash edu. Uh, remember to go there, otherwise you might find yourself in the business section thinking this costs way more than I can afford. Um, next is the uh, the stream section where you can check out what other teachers are doing. Take a look around and see uh, some good ideas and see how, how you might be able to come up with similar ideas related to your classroom. And finally, create your own and tweet it to me. I'd love to see what you come up with. Um, you know, you can start pretty simple with just some annotations. And then if you want to go more and more, you can start, you know, linking in the videos and all that type of stuff. So, you know, uh, try it out. See what happens. You can always tweet it to me at EdTechPrincipal. Um, you can leave comments here on YouTube if you're directly on the YouTube page at EdTechPrincipal also. And of course, Facebook at EdTech TV. And I'd love it if you'd just leave comments right on the blog, of course, too. If you find these videos useful, please uh, give it a thumbs up vote. That would help me out to make sure I'm doing the right things and writing and, uh, and recording about the things that you're interested in. Hope everything's going really well for you, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.